Welcome everybody to the second episode of Dynamic Diecasters where this week we'll actually be working on the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 second box which is essentially the um, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth kits. Like I told you guys in the first um, episode, they typically, after the first two kits, every other month is going to be four kits in total. So this month was the kits three through seven. Uh, so when we come back, we'll go ahead and get started on the build and I hope you guys enjoy it. Welcome back. Like I said before the break, we are gonna go ahead and build the kit, uh, kits three through six. And then I'm also going to explain something else that was cool that came in the box. So being that there's a premium subscription, I think I may have mentioned in the first episode, I pay like a dollar extra a kit and they send more stuff. Um, in this particular kit, they sent a nice little binder that you can see right here that actually will hold all the issues that they send that are the part of the installation manuals. Because one of the interesting things about the uh, installation manuals that I didn't go over is once you get past the um, part with how to put everything together, there's stories about Ghostbusters. So in this episode, what you'll see is during the build, which we'll go through pretty quick because I'll time lapse most of it. Um, we're going to show bits and pieces from these magazines that give some fun facts about Ghostbusters. So I hope you guys enjoy that instead of just sitting there watching me quick build these pieces. But with that, we're going to go ahead and start with the, the third kit which the third kit is essentially the chrome effect front bumper parts and the frames and lenses for the fog lights. So that's this kit right here. And like I was telling you guys before, every kit comes with the GM certification. So that's, it's pretty cool that they, you know, they basically took pictures of everything and, uh, are representing everything uh, nicely, uh, accurately. They took digital scans, I think, of, the, the, of, of every piece of the car. So, um, yeah, so. I'll go ahead and open up and pull these parts out and then I'll, I'll build the, the kit. Seems after the first couple too, the the last two kits came in bags, so they, they're a little bit easier than these other um, packages that I've had to open. I've struggled with both of them, so. Of course, we've got the front bumper, as you can see here. Then we've got the See, normally, like last week, they had labels to tell you left and right. I'm trying to see if these actually have the same thing. Yes, they do. You guys can't see, but inside there's an R. Um, you probably won't be able to zoom in on that. But So this is the right fog light casing. And obviously, this is the left fog light casing. And then we've got the... The left, uh, let's see, L1 is the left outer fog light frame, and R1 is the right outer. 
fog light frame. And then we've got the left inner fog light frame and then the right inner fog light frame. They don't look much different <laughs> from each other. So that's why I was struggling when I was looking at the instructions. But the instructions, again, are, are nice because they actually tie into the parts that are labeled. So where it says R2, it ties to the part labeling on the packaging. So then this one is the left fog light lens and this is the right fog light lens and then obviously the screws so we've got some ap screws some bm screws and some dp screws which i think i told you before in the last episode m represents it goes into metal p goes into plastic i don't know if the i don't think it explained whether or not the first letter meant anything it's probably how long they are or how thick but with that, we'll go ahead and start the build of kit. That's the completion of the third stage of the build, or the third kit. So essentially what we put together was the bottom fog light section, the bumper, and then the license plate. And we actually attached it, if you remember from the first episode, the top grill section. So currently that's what the whole front looks like, if you guys can see it on the, on the uh, video. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to the fourth kit now, which the fourth kit is the left front wheel and the tire. So, <laughs> so there's not going to be much to this build, this stage of the build. And again, as you can see, I'm going to show it every time, but there's a GM sticker on this box also. This time lapse portion will probably be very short because literally it's one tire. So um, we've got the left front tire, which again, this tells you the detail on the aspect of this build. This tire is really heavy. I mean, for it's basically, and it's got the Firestone emblems on it. If you can tell the detail on these things is kind of incredible really, but it's heavier than I would have thought. And then you've got the, the hubcap. The center cap, which is this little tiny piece right here. Then you've got the outer wheel. And if you heard that, it's pure metal. And then the inner wheel. And then obviously you've got screws. And I didn't even notice, but it actually tells you three plus a spare. So they give you extra. It's on purpose. Like literally, I, this is the first time I've noticed. And these are CM, obviously. Most of these parts are metal. So they're going to screw directly into metal. So when we come back, I'll show you what the, the left wheel assembly looks like after we finish that build. That was kit four. That was extremely fast, like I figured it might be. But basically all we did with this is we attached the outer wheel 
and the inner wheel to the tire. It says to save the hubcap and the center, um, how the center wheel part for uh, later, as uh, it'll be in a later stage. So we'll go from there. Um, kit five, I believe it's part of the engine. Uh, if I remember right, when I looked through this, yeah, the, the fifth stage is uh, Ecto-1's transmission and engine. And as I assemble, it will fit the gearbox and the bell housing. So that's where we're at with that one. And you can see that what I was talking about before with, we went away, it least seems like they went away from the boxes and now they're little bags with like uh, uh, attachments that show what kit number they are. So this seems a little bit more easier to deal with because there's literally not a box that I have to tear into to get to it. So I'll open this one. And this one is pure, I, a lot of metal in this one. Because I can feel it. And then obviously the screws, there's DM screws and EM screws. So yeah, it's all metal in this particular kit. Tell you what, the hardest part is getting these plastic pieces off. <laughs> Again, these are nice. I can imagine how the engine's gonna look when you actually look inside the the vehicle, though, because yeah, you know, this stuff is highly detailed. So you got five A, which is this piece right here. It's gonna be the bell housing connector. Then you've got five B, which is this piece. It's the bell housing plate. Five C, which is this part is the bell housing. The this is the gearbox connector. And then you've got five E. I wonder if there's a label on these. Because these are essentially the same. One's the left part. Yeah, this is the right one and this is the left one. So this is the gearbox housing left, this is the gearbox housing right, and then this is the oil pan, which it seems like that's the only part that seems to be possibly plastic out of the entire kit. So with that, I'll come back after we build this little section and I'll show you what it looks like. Kit number five, like I said before, we were building the gearbox and the bell housing for the transmission. So this is what it looks like. So you can see the, the entire setup with the oil pan underneath. It, it didn't take very long either. It's surprising how quick these builds are going today. Um, and then the last kit we're gonna build today is the sixth kit, which is basically the parts of the engine starting with the left engine block cylinder head and the exhaust manifold. So there's only like five or six pieces in this kit too, so it probably won't take me very long to finish this one off either. But as you can see, it's got a little placard with the seventh kit on it, and then the pieces that are in, and a, with the GM certification. So we'll go through the each part of this kit that, that comes in it and then I'll get started on building it and then we'll finish up the video. So 
Let's see how easy it is for me to actually open up this plastic part, man. That's the hardest part I've seen with these builds, besides the fact that my hands are so big and these screws are so small that I just have to deal with issues. Anyways, so the first piece is the left engine block. Then you've got the left engine support. The engine block lower part is what it's called. This seems to be plastic. Then we've got a dipstick. A left exhaust manifold. The left cylinder head. Ignition wire junction, and then the left cylinder head cover, and obviously screws for the kit. So when we get back, I'll show you how this looks when we finish putting it together. And on to kit six. That was it for kit six. Now what we did is we put together the left part of the engine, as you can see here, but the last part of the actual built was it to attach it to what we built in kit five. So you see this is the finished assembly for the kit six. So it's the left part of the engine plus the gearbox and stuff. Highly detailed. Most of it is metal. There's only a couple of plastic pieces. One of it being the oil pan that I pointed out before, and then the exhaust manifold is plastic, and I think the head was plastic too. Still pretty heavy overall. So in terms of what we built today, this is five and six. Four was the tire holding back the hubcap and the center piece. And after, you know, this was five and six, three and four, were, or three was the bottom part of this. So kit one, if you remember from last episode, was the top section of this. Kit three was essentially the bottom section of the front part of the grill. So it'll be interesting to see where we go to, to next. The, ep the next episode actually will be the first stage of our DeLorean build. So that'll be coming up in two weeks. And then two weeks after that, I'll build the next four kits for the Ghostbusters. Um, Car. So with that being said, if you like what you're watching, go ahead and like it and subscribe to our channel and check out our socials. We've got stuff on Facebook and check out our Kids Edition channel as well. We will have a few more videos coming up this week on that as, as well. So for all of us at the Heart of Geek, have a good night and we'll see you next time.